welcome back to Vampyr. And today on this episode, we're going to be continue off where we went to last time. Because last time, we saw Mrs. Dorothy Crane, and she looked like she was doing something dodgy. So what we have to do is go through that part, all the way over there. Um... I'm in a bit of a different location from the last video because what I basically did is just came all the way here just to, just to uh, get to a save point and of course I leveled up as well. So I'm going to have a quick look down here quickly before I go. Ooh, what's up here? So I'm just going to quickly check what's up here, and then I will, uh... I cannot okay. enter. That's fine. Oh, and we cross the street. Also, if you notice that, if you remember, yeah, if you remember last time, I went to city to city to, uh, no, I don't think I did. I think I might have done that on my own game. I don't know. Them so I can get. Oh well, never mind. Oh crap, I don't think I need to go in there. My bad. These usually don't take that long, but if they do take long, what I do, I will just cut that bit out. Rescue some guy. Sorry about the barking. Oh, 
pick up some supplies. Good, that's all of them. It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment, I thought those bloody heathens had killed me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent, but those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, filthy immigrants. Fucking savages, every one of them. And now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the savages. Might as well get out of here. Also guys, tell me down in the comments what you think of the series so far. I know this is a bit of an old game, but I really wanted to make this video, make this for my YouTube channel. I might try do some, maybe when, once one of my series is finished, maybe I might start doing some um, PS4 games. Because I do have a PS4 as well. It's locked. Oops, sorry. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, it'll be fine. Correctly, I just have to take the shortcut up here. On the hideout. There's no point uh, me leveling up. Make sure I have five of these of everything. Can I upgrade anything? No. What about the guns? this just in case I really want to rank it up sleep guys but I don't have enough points to rank up so I can't Kind of 
funny you say you're dead, like, at the same time I kill you. Because one thing I might do, guys, like, when I call end of the video, what I might do is go to the areas after I finish recording and just give them these fins unless you want to see what happens but basically you give it to them and what basically happens they they feel better and you see what this bit whether it's yellow basically goes up because he's losing he's lost in blood quality because he's got he's not well and he's, you see these yellow fins basically lowers their blood the higher their blood, the more, well, the higher their blood quality, the more XP you get. Oh, is he? Oh, seriously. What the hell? Did he just stab himself with a torch? Neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Are you alright? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Sorry, I'm having a coffee. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. 
free. You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Sorry, just my phone alarm. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Goodbye, young man. How are you, boy? I'm not... Do you need assistance? Please. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. I skipped that because you're not going to see it. But basically, as you see there, now he's got a recovery symbol on him now. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, he just faked me last nerve. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always... I will see you later. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Guys, what I might Me? do? I'll not. Because I've got subtitles. How I skip the dialogue. I'm not your so boy, all right? Now, it. piss off. Goodbye, young man. The wet boots will be proud of me. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Okay. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now.
Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Yeah, before I go to the church, I need to... Might as well talk to this guy. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then? You always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse, and quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu, something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Right then. Show me what you have. You never... Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I think we need to go over here. I cannot enter. Just 
lead me upstairs. Okay, so make I can't make the head spin. I don't want to do this, but I might need to. Um, not blood. I'll probably increase my health, but what's this one? because it stops the blood and basically forces them so next I would probably do one of these as you can see now I've healed him he's feeling better Thin, so what I might have to do, if I remember correctly, oh he's got two. Oh, this might not be too good. 
you've got two as well. I don't know if I've got the medicine to fix that, but I've got the medicine for that. I've got the medicine for that. Let's just quickly check before we head out. So, it's the cold one I've got, it's just this I don't have. And I think you find the recipe for that later on. can't go through that so I have to go the other way around control forgive my interruption do not apologize my son Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? I've been touched by... Do you know Nurse Dorothy? I don't... 
So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the... I have heard it. A... Mm, I think that's the graveyard over there. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. You risk your life, mate. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? To be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell.
Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Tell me, Mr. Nethercote, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah... Uh... Will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? In what way exactly? The struggle by gaslight. The Baron, if you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. The stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course. Oh yes, the poignant distress. You. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dor Dorothy Craig. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I'll leave you alone. Okay. Okay, so he's... Good evening. And good evening. Do you need... It may... I understand. The nutrition... I'll leave you alone. I only did that just to skip it, skip the dialogue, so all I'm doing is just giving him medicine. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. I know what you're thinking. At all. Melly. Hmm. Tell me about Richard. Very well. Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. 
Dr. Reed. All right then, but be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time, until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. Then you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. Yeah, I know what you she does. You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Do you know Nurse Dorothy? I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea That's helps the sick people of white <laughs> My laptop that my mum bought is actually that. in Romanian as well. Romanian friend. Goodbye, miss. Change. Do you need any assistance? I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Good. Good evening, sir. You're here for. I'm not here. The doc, do you recall? Not me, but your skills could help. I'm Dora. Yes, no. What is your business exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest well, I'm price. Do is I see. Gonna skip this dialogue. And what? Not well. Important. In other words, begging your pardon. I thought you was a man who could. It's unusual. <laughs> That's. Un I don't see. What that's mis I understand. Ah, uh, so tell me what people are at. Dora, I not you. Since I took an oath, well, in what? Goodbye, Mr. Bates. As you can see. If I check here and go down, have you noticed? Because I've done some dialogue with him, I unlocked two of these, and what's happened is increased this.
Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. If you want to read this guys, just pause the video and read. It's locked all right. Might talk to him before I go to Dorothy If you Crane. want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane? Like myself and many people in this area. Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Tell me everything you... I do not believe... Oh, I've done that already. Do you have any family? I just skip this. Do it's no. Ah, you may be ah, but really. Tell me. Goodbye, mister. I'm only skipping the non-important stuff. This is the bit where I hate because I have to try to rescue the guy up top.
What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp, hand me that scalp. What can I do, doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. It's locked. So what do I owe this courtesy? I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Thank you. 
Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? <sighs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed! That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No. Just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. It's locked, all right. Now I'll just need to return to Lady. to uh, Lady Ashbrood and then I've got to call it a video guys its effectiveness has been proven by many even the flu is no man just quickly check I'm going the right way Hopefully, I'm probably going to face human hunters, or vampire hunters, should I say. Oh no, they're dead. Usually some over here, usually. Also, sorry if I don't talk too much. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Yeah! <laughs> 
that was easy enough. do right now is quickly make some break these down uh, see if I can upgrade anything like to make at least five of these. How many did I take out? I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. 
I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you, it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been away from London and... Things have gone from bad to... Yes. Yeah. just skip this. What? It's not really that important. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may... Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity... You mean your maker? What do you... Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep... Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember... Even the shark smiles before That's a vampire. Sorry. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of pre. Once. They have seen. More. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Me? Goodness, no. 
Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. I'm going to quickly analyze this blood, then call it a video. three times. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Okay, it's saved. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and a like, and put in the comment down below. Tell me which bit you like in the series. And also, if you want to see content like this again, please do subscribe. It does help my channel out a lot. And I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.